the Library's Academic Video Online, or Avon collection, of streaming media has been added directly into Canvas as an external tool. Here are two ways to add streaming media from that collection directly through the Canvas interface. The first thing that you can do is you can click on the plus sign in your module, select external tool from the list. You will see Alexander Street video show up in your list. You can just click on that, type in a topic that you'd like to find a film on or the film name if you know the name of it. You can use your filters to filter your search results in a variety of ways. You can also sort by date. I'm going to sort by the newest item first. As I scroll in my list, I might find a film I'm interested in. I can select the view video to actually view this film, view the film details, and return a link right here. Or I go back to my search results and that button does act a little wonky so you actually have to redo your search. But if I go back here and um, again sort by date, I can click on return link here if I know that's the film I want. And then it's going to take me back to this box. I'll just say add item. And when I add the item, it's been added to my list. If I select on this, it's going to take me right to the film and students are not required to re-authenticate. So they can just watch the film right in this interface. The other thing that you can do is you can add this in a um, page using the text box options. So I'm going to go back to our module. I'm going to add a page. I'm going to create a new page. When I've created this page, I can just click on it. I can edit it. I can put in directions, questions, um, context, whatever I choose. Then I'm going to go to the plug, plug sign and um, click on the apps. When I do that, uh, it remembered that I used Alexander Street before, so it had it in a box. But you can select Alexander Street video from the list. Again, I'm going to put in my search criteria. I'm going to sort by date. I'm going to here. You have a couple other options. So you can either return a link so it links directly, or you can embed the video directly. I'm going to go ahead and embed a medium sized video. You can see it embeds it right in the box for me. I'm going to save and publish. And when I go to my student view, you can see that the students can see the video and they can just play it right in that page. Viewers like you make this program possible. The suite of ProQuest databases and resources have been added as an external tool in Canvas. You can easily now add links to articles from journals, trade journals, magazines, books. You can add dissertation links and a variety of other resources directly from the ProQuest databases into your Canvas site. To add a direct link to an article, you would create a module and then add an external tool. From the external tool, we're going to scroll down into the list until we find ProQuest databases. When we find ProQuest databases, I'm going to go ahead and type in a search term and you could use any search terms that you like or if you know the name of an article or a book, you can look for those here also. We can go ahead and click search and here are our search results. One thing we do suggest that you do is select full text because items that are not available in full text in this database would not be able to be embedded directly. You can limit your search results by source type, publication date, the same way you would limit any search results. If you find something that interests you in your search results, you can go ahead and um, click on the title. And when you select the title, you will see a select this document button at the top of the page. Just select select this document. It brings you back to the add item box. Click on add item. 
And you will see that that link to that article has been added directly, um, including the title of the article, its source and date. Um, you just want to make that available. And if you click on it, it will take you and your students directly to the HTML version of the article. Once students are here, they can get to the PDF version and they can also download the PDF, but the only option for viewing is the HTML version within the Canvas module. The other thing that you can do within Canvas is add an article using the external tool function within um, a page that you have created. Here I've created a page uh, for week six of a hypothetical class. So I'm going to click on that. I've already added some information and I want to find a reading for the students um, to be able to respond to in the discussion board for this week. So I'm going to click on edit. I can go ahead and go where I want this to be added. I'm going to click on the plug, which gives me access to the apps. ProQuest comes up because I've already used it. Uh, if it's your first time, you'll see a full list like this. You're just going to select ProQuest databases. Again, you can type in your search terms, your title of an item, if you know what it is. Again, if you're searching directly here, you should select full text so you are limited in your search results. We're going to find that same article and go ahead and click on it and select, select this document. It's going to put the link directly into um, that page. And as you can see, if I take a look at my student view, here is the student view for this page in this module, and if they click on that link, it will take them directly to the ProQuest article without requiring additional authentication. Need help? Librarians are available via chat, email, phone, or by appointment.